Number 10, Cora Swords. The Cora Swords is an antique 18th century weapon from Nepal. The Cora is a classic example of this famous fighting sword of the Gurkhas. It measures 74 centimeters overall length, the blade alone is 56 centimeters long. The Cora Swords was made on Forged in Fire in Season 3, Episode 5, and it is made with iron blades, which are extremely sharp and can cut through anything. Any warrior with Korra swords will likely kill many, as its strong swords definitely gives the upper hand over someone with a lesser weapon. Center. That way, the impact of the chunk is all up here. A devastating cutter. Wow, pretty much took care of that. Number 9, the Barbarian Sword. The sword is one of the fiercest looking weapons that can be carried in battle. Made from high carbon steel and a polished hardwood that can best be described as a two hand and a half grip. The overall length is 49 inches and the blade length is 36 inches with 6 inches width. Won't you be frightened if you are in combat with someone with such a weapon? The Barbarian Sword has a deep crushing cut, not only the flesh or skin, but the bones. It can break the bones and is not too heavy to carry and very easy to flip around in combat. This makes it so powerful, any warrior with this weapon is likely to kill dozens. Sounds pretty powerful, right? Keep watching and see the sword that makes it to number one. Just a number eight, the Cane Sword. A sword containing a hidden blade, doesn't it sound beyond powerful? How can you be in combat with someone with hidden blades? You may not even know how dangerous the weapon is until the person strikes. Absolutely wonderful. The cane sword is very tiny, thin, and has a long blade. A light cut can do a lot of damage as both sides are very sharp and dangerous. It can be swung with one or both hands in combat Having the advantage of a long sword and being able to swing it with one hand definitely makes that warrior a lot more powerful and can easily kill a lot of enemies with just a single strike. Pretty powerful, right? Keep watching and see the sword that makes it to number one. Number seven, Butterfly Swords. The Butterfly Swords is a short or single-edged sword originally from southern China, though has also been used in the north. It is a short sword with a hook extending from the guard and fitting into a single scabbard. The blade of a Butterfly Sword is roughly as long as a human forearm. Butterfly Swords are usually wielded in pairs. A pair will often be carried side by side within the same scabbard, so as to give it the appearance of a single weapon. The butterfly swords can be referred to as small but mighty, it has a small cross guard to protect the hands of the wielder, which can also be used to block or hook an opponent's weapon. Defeating an expert of butterfly swords is very difficult, which makes the weapon powerful. You may see it as a small sword, but it's very dangerous and very powerful. They're very traditional looking to me. I like his Damascus accent he used on the D guard. The handles are... Number 6, the Scottish Claymore. The iconic Scottish Claymore was introduced to Forged in Fire in Season 3. As the name implies, this sword originated from Scotland. It is referred to as the most iconic long sword in history. The Scottish Claymore is about 5 feet long and the blade itself is 4 feet long. An average soldier has to use two hands to whip it and is a very intimidating weapon in battle. The weapon was used in the 1500s in Scotland by Scottish Highland warriors. Even the Vikings were intimidated by them. Its kill test is absolutely amazing as it can destroy things in less time with a sharp and long blade. Imagine a combat with someone holding a Scottish Claymore. He flips a sharp and long sword that can produce a lot of damage in just a single hit and is likely to win the combat because holding and using a Scottish Claymore is a huge advantage. This sword is beyond powerful. 
Just imagine the swords that top the list. Coming in at number 5, the Pioneer Sword. The Pioneer Sword originated from Russia. It is sometimes referred to as the Russian Pioneer Sword on Forged in Fire. The Pioneer Sword is known to be extremely sharp and can cut through flesh easily. On the Pioneer Sword test on Forged in Fire Season 5, it cuts down the animal hanged for its test. It's lightweight and very easy to move around, giving it its powerful advantage. Number 4. Nagamaki The Nagamaki is a type of traditionally made Japanese sword with an extra long handle used by the samurai class of feudal Japan. The blade is a single edged and it could resemble a Naginata blade. Nagamaki translates to long wrap. The Nagamaki sword blade is 3 feet long and the handle has equal lengths to its blade, handle wrapped in leather or silk cord. The handle is as long as the blade, making it very easy to whip and move with a level of force that can cut through flesh and create strong damage on an opponent in combat. Combined with a skilled warrior, this blade was insane. Number 3. The Viking Sword the Viking sword was developed in the 8th century. It was prevalent in Western and Northern Europe during the early Middle Ages. Viking swords were single-handed and had a wide fuller down the length of the blade. Most blades would be around 30 inches long and some being a little longer or shorter. They are very light and balanced swords, typically weighing less than 3 pounds. Number 2. Pandat Sword The Pandat Sword is the sword of the Dayak people of Northwest Borneo. This weapon was featured in Forged in Fire Season 3, Episode 9. The Pandat Sword is about 55 to 70 centimeters long and is very strong physically, and is a lovely weapon to possess in battle. But this sword is no competition for our number 1 spot. Coming in at number 1, Zweihander. The Zweihander is a large two-handed sword primarily used in the 16th century. Zweihander swords developed from the long swords of the late Middle Ages and became the hallmark weapon of the German. It has wavy blades with strong and sharp irons used extensively in like battles. It is up to 6 feet long, weighing up to 8 pounds. It was used by Landsknecht and German mercenaries. The Zweihander was not used by small warriors, but by huge warriors, and it shows how powerful it can be in battle. A huge warrior with a huge and intimidating weapon will surely go on a killing spree. That was our list of 10 Beyond Powerful Swords on Forged in Fire. Thank you for watching Film Trip. Do make sure you like, subscribe, and give a nice comment on what you think in the comments section down below. We'll see you in the next video.